hello 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 everyone you're welcome to my channel my name is Belinda and today I'm going to be making this wig so without further ado let's get right into it first things first you're going to prepare your wig cap make sure you have your invincible net on it in my previous video I showed how to put the net on it you can I'll leave the link in the description box so you can check that out so on this one you just put like this start off with crocheting your needle I meant you start by crocheting your yarn to the net this um, crochet method makes it look cleaner it makes it is more convenient and it's more better than sewing it down with thread needle and thread because that needle and thread at the end of the day you will be seeing the thread on it but this one it just looks like you're weaving it on the hair so you just insert it like that the the pattern that you want your weave to go to i'm doing the straight weave going down that is why i have inserted the wool just straight down like that this is just to like make it feel like i'm weaving it on on a hair instead of on a mannequin so but if you're if you want the coily weave you just crochet the yarn following the pattern like the curve you want your weave to be that's how you just crochet it like that and then you start weaving and for this wig i'm making it's not tiny weaves and not jumbo egg that is just like medium size weave so i'm just going to keep inserting more wool until i've gotten the size that i want then I will stop inserting the wool and I will just continue weaving it like that. And guys, if you are going for the jumbo weave, you are going to have to add more wool. You just keep adding more wool until you've gotten the size you desire and then you stop. You just keep braiding it. You just keep uh, weaving it like that until you get to the end. So guys, I'm done with one of the weave. This is my first time of using this method. And I must confess, this is very, very convenient. Like, no stress at all. And your work is going to come out looking very fine. Look at it, guys. So I'm just going to keep doing it. The, the other side, I'm going to weave it going backward. Like, I'm going for an all back with, like, middle pattern. So that's the style I'm going for. So I'm just going to keep weaving it like that and the, my ends, like the ends of this particular weave, I'm twisting it out. I just feel like that one is, that one looks nicer. You can braid yours, you can twist it out. Anyone that you are prefer is fine. So guys, we are almost done with this wig. Check how beautiful this wig is already looking. I am already loving it. So I'm just going to keep weaving it like that until i've covered the whole wig just in case you didn't get the way i weaved it the first time that is why i'm showing it for the second time as i'm weaving the hair i said the hair as i'm weaving this wool i am inserting more as more um, wool to it and as i'm inserting more wool i'm picking the one that i've crocheted to the wig cap already and adding it to the weave as it's going because that is what is going is going to hold down this um weave to make it very firm and to make it look nice so as i'm inserting more wool i am picking the one i've crocheted already i hope i'm making sense just watch it closely guys you're going to get it very simple you're going to get it so you're just going to keep um weaving it like this until you are done so guys my name is belinda and i do videos on diy hair care hairstyles and wigs so please consider clicking on the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and please like and share this video that would really mean a lot to me i would really appreciate that so i'm just going to keep weaving guys look how this wig is already <clears throat> sorry see how this wig is already coming out it's so shiny it's not even looking like like it's wool it's looking like i'm using an actual expression 
so guys let me just show you let me show you how you add more length to your short short hair look at it i'm just going to insert it like that put it in the middle and just twist it to the direction that you are normally twisting the hair to before and you won't even notice the knot you won't even notice where you added more extension to it i'm going to do it again just watch it close put the hair in the middle and twist it to the direction you're already twisting the hair to before and that's it guys